So today I'm working on little pumpkins, little uh, like votive holder candle pumpkins. I started with about a pound and a quarter because I don't want them to be too big. So it really depends on what size you want as to how much you use, uh, how much clay. But I think for what I'm going for, it's a pound and a quarter. So I'm gonna center the clay. Um, I start by coning up most of my pressure when I'm coning up is using this part of my hand and this part of my uh, my left hand, this part of my left hand and this part of my right hand. And then when I cone down, I'm pressing more from my right hand towards my left hand. And then using my right hand to get it into a little patty-like shape. Tuna can, whatever it is. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna open up and I go down, I leave about a quarter of an inch probably because I'm not gonna trim these and I open it out by pulling my two thumbs away from each other. And where's my sponge? I like throwing with a sponge. Some people like to just throw um, using just their fingers. It's, you know, whatever is comfortable for you. I'm gonna compress the bottom. You wanna make sure to go back and forth a number of times to really press that clay down so that you don't get any S cracks. Now I'm gonna take my, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is with the sponge, I'm just gonna push my outside hand towards my inside hand just to get the clay back into a cone shape. All right, now I'm gonna pull up the clay. So holding my finger, this finger's doing the most of the work, sorry about that. <laughs> and I'm pressing till I get that little ring of clay. And then I'm going to pull up. And right about here, I, I um, lessen my pressure because I don't want to make the top too thin. And then we'll do one more pull. Pressing down, you see that ring of clay? Can you see that? We'll stop. Okay, and then bringing that ring of clay up. And I'm pressing my fingers pretty evenly against each other. I lightened again, I lightened my pressure. And the reason I press pretty evenly is because I'm just trying to make a cylinder. Okay. All right, and I'm just gonna get rid of a little extra clay. And now I'm gonna press from my uh, inside hand towards my outside hand to make the little curve shape of the pumpkin. And as I get to the top, I am lessening my pressure because I'm trying to keep this, uh, the top somewhat narrow. So the fun thing about this is you can really go with any, any shape that you want. I have some short fat ones some taller or wider ones because pumpkins come in all different shapes. But the real fun part is when you get to carve them at the end. Well, not today. I mean, not, you know, they're gonna have to dry first. So let's push this out just a little bit more, get a little rounder, and then I'm gonna grab my rib. I'm using this little red rib, which you can't see because it's covered in clay. And I'm just going to um, smooth it out. This clay has grog in it, so I want to press the grog down. Plus, I'm just sort of refining the shape a little. And my rim. If, if this had gotten too wide at the top, I would have collared it in. But on this one, I managed not to do that. And I'm going to just press a little bit more down here because I want it to be a little bit wider. Okay, so the primary thing is you want to make sure there's going to be enough room after the clay shrinks to get that little candle in there, whether it's one of those electronic ones or um, or a, a real candle. I like the real candles myself. Now I'm going to just take away the excess clay. I've got my knife. I'm holding it straight down toward, well, at an angle, and I'm just going to go in. come down to push the clay away from the pot. Take the knife down. Whoops, that was silly. Didn't do that quite right. If 
Well, now we have sticky, the clay is very sticky today. So I didn't mean to press that up, but I did. Oh, well. All right, so now this is going to sit and dry. And then the next step is maybe a little trimming if needed. And then uh, carve the pumpkin. So the pieces have been, the pumpkin shapes have been drying and are, are a soft leather hard. And I did just a little quick trim, not much. Just put a little swirl on the bottom and then took a little, ex the excess clay off. And now it's time to make the um, pumpkin shape lines. So I use uh, two different tools. Uh, I've, or I should say I've used two different tools. Uh, a, a wooden knife and then the back of my fettling knife is also a good one. Um, but you know, it really depends on what kind of thickness of lines you want to get. So I'm, I'm going to use the wooden knife right now. So I just take the back of the wooden knife and I go all the way up and you can see it's still pretty bendy. So I'm just going to go all the way around. I leave a little gap. I go all the way up to the top and finish it off if I didn't make it. Yeah. So it's pretty soft still. And I make those, uh, my hand's in the right spot. Sorry about that. And then when I've gone all the way around, I flip it over and I do the bottom half. Like that. And when it's all done, it will look like this. And I smooth it out because and fix the shape if there's anywhere where I've kind of bulbed it out a little, you know, or pushed it in too much. Um, smooth it. Sometimes there's lines from when I was throwing. I'll try to get those out, but it doesn't really matter. This is just a fun little thing. And smooth the bottom if you roughed it up at all because that will be what's on the table. Okay, and you'll want to keep this bottom flat since we're going to be putting a candle in it. All right, and then the next step is to carve the pumpkin. So this is where your creativity really comes in. You can do, I mean, whatever you like. So I'm going to make some lines for some eyes. And a little nose. And... I think I'm going to do a jagged mouth, but really this is up to you what you want to do here. And you know, you can get as fancy as you want. I'm not that fancy with my pumpkins. Then I'm going to take a knife. This is my favorite um, new knife. It's a Dolan. I don't know what the number is. It's a Dolan knife. Um, and I'm just going to carve out the pumpkin eyes and the nose whoops just like carving an actual pumpkin except you don't have to deal with all that gunk and seeds and then the mouth just follow the line so if you are one of those people who can create as you go you don't even have to do the lines like I did but I, I like having the guide and I must admit I don't always completely follow it but I'm going to try I think it works better okay let me pop that out. And there he is. What do you think? Cute, huh? And then the very last step is I have this um, mud tool sponge that 
you can use for smoothing and I'll just smooth out the edges and I'll, I'll probably wait a little bit because this is a little soft so um, once it's it's firmed up a little bit I'll just smooth those edges and then it's done and ready to dry and be fired <laughs> 